what is up risk takers welcome to the kill pete strategy i am pete i'm a top player in risk global domination i have a daily release on youtube i'm doing weeknight streams on twitch and if you are interested in getting better at the game for risk i invite you to subscribe to my channel come along the ride with me ladies and gentlemen welcome to week two of the in rotational Facing off against Zeriki. All right, I'm heading up, Pete. Let's put on a show. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck, Mr. Zeriki. And here are our players for round two of Invitational. It is a six-player game, single winner advances. Five-player game, single winner advances. Four-player game, single winner advances. In no particular order other than the order in which they join the lobby. Playing as blue, flying the flag of Croatia. We have top Grandmaster Zeriki. He hung out at rank number one for, oh, I don't know, like two years. Um... 1,209 hours played, 4268, and 532 with 9,136 games. This is Zeriki. Playing as green, a new up-and-comer, but a top grandmaster. Flying the flag of Norfolk Island, we got Grim Shanky. 1,174 hours played, 3,562 games. That record, though, does not look correct. Playing a lot of single player, I'm guessing? Interesting. I'm going to assume that something is off here. I know Grim to be a very talented Risk player playing as purple. We've Chaotic Disaster flying the flag Svalbard and Jan Mayan, which is also surprisingly the flag of Norway. Uh, Chaotic and I have, go and have gone back and forth in different tournaments. I know they are quite good. Uh, 327 hours played, 65 to 193 ranked. Myself playing as white. Uh, the old Pete Man Kilby strategy flying the dragon flag of Bhutan. Um, 2,237 hours, 6302 games, and 2276 to 754. Playing as pink, top grandmaster flying the flag of France. We got Lena Kitty. Is Lena on? I can shout out her show too if she's going live. Um, but obviously I can't watch. Uh, Lena, French flag. 939 hours, 690 and 543. In our final seat, we got Matthew Law. Is this actually a sub? Is Matthew Law going to play? Or is he just trolling? He's just trolling, folks. He's just trolling. I'm going to put a pause in the video and I will return when we get our either our sixth player or might be an AI, but I don't think so. Uh, let's find out. Ladies, gentlemen, play is black. Looks like the, he made it in. We get to see a red tech because Sterling's a mod. Sterling, Fortune 27. Uh, host of many risk tournaments, including the uh, the current Hall of Fame UK flag, top grandmaster, 12, 79 hours played, 5, 9, 51 games, and 1676 to 303. What is up going in, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, this one live on Twitch. Wishing the best of luck. Uh, Lena is live, folks. I'm not going to go look at her Twitch, but, uh, you know, why not go check her out? Give her a follow, Lena Kitty 69 Also, PRT is live. I'm in the first seat playing as white. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck. Let's see. So Pangea Progressive is uh, a group of settings I would say I feel very, very at home on. This is my favorite map for World on Progressive. And we're playing it in a tournament yet again. I love that. I love that. Yep. What a great start. Okay, folks, I'll show you the settings for game one. We're playing World Domination Pangea. Auto 60 Expert Automated Bot. Thankfully, we don't start with any progressive cards, balance blitz dice with nothing fancy. No fog, no blitz, no portals, no alliances, and I'm in the first position. Position two, we have Sterling playing as black. Position three, we have Grim playing as green. Position four, we have Zeriki playing as blue. Position five, we have Lena Kitty playing as magenta. And finally, position six is Chaotic Disaster playing as purple. I'm going to try my best to include commentary on their color. But seeing as how this is a tournament game, and I know most of these players personally, I tend to default to refer to them by name. And I'm sorry if some of the audience does find that confusing. <laughs> We are trying to make the best show we can make, and I understand that um, one thing we could really, really use 
um, that I would love to see would be the player's name right here. You know, some of these players are so fantastically talented at risk. Wouldn't it be great for us as viewers of risk television to get to know them better? Uh, what else can I, can I tell you about this tournament? So it's a six player game, winner advances, five player game, winner advances, four player game, winner advances. Um, we're playing Pangea world Dom game one. 28 turns later, Zombies Game 2, and Dracula's Castle Fixed Capitals Game 3. So we're actually playing Hidden Door Roulette in a tournament. So part of me really, really hopes we don't make it to Game 3 because I just want to advance. But another part of me does very much, <laughs> very much want to play Dracula's Castle in a tournament. So uh, Probably famous last words because those settings sound like they go forever. Uh, Clavarius says game three going to be nuts. Perhaps. Lena wins this. Finn, Finn Agarwal. Don't you root against the Peatman, sir. Not in my chat. Ah. Good morning, King. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, so Lena blocks in Uncle Arctica. Moves the four in or moves the two in? I see this and then a fortify in my head. Yeah, okay, that's close. It's close to what I would have done. Um, and then chaotic. Chaotic blocks it. Okay, great. So everyone's gonna hang out in the jackpot and I don't have to be there. Love that. Thank you, chaotic. Uh, why do I call it the jackpot, folks? Why is Pangea my favorite map? So for world on progressive bonuses don't really matter. Um, and we can use air quotes for that one. So there's a jackpot. There's a noob magnet. I've I've been using the term noob magnet more recently. Um and the noobs look and they say, hey, there's a three territory plus two next to a two territory plus two. So you would very consistently see noobs and bots fighting over the right hand side of the map. And then, of course, the old Pete would just hang out in these nondescript places and wait to strike because it's progressive and the game's only going to go um, eight, seven, eight, nine turns. But of course, this one won't. This one will go longer because everyone is good. Everyone is very good. Um, so, because of that, I sort of like that fortify, I sort of don't. So one of the things I'm trying to do, because I'm in the first seat, um, is I don't want to get eaten in the early trades, but I also want to be positioned well to hunt in the late trades. So I actually think the way I play my seat correctly is I look to hunt Sterling, Grimshanky, maybe Zeraki. And hope one of these guys doesn't have a set on, on four in the second sequence. Yeah, that's good for me. That opens my path to go back this way. I want to be here. I'd much rather be on this. This is a great, great territory. I, I, and I'm, as long as I, uh, we don't see either Grim or Zeriki take it, um, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to move the three in Canada back to, what's the territory called? Far East Russia, I think, on this fuck off arrows. Uh, Far East Russia. Okay. Yeah, and the two moves there. No, he leaves the two. Interesting. He says, oops, why? Oh, because Zerki was left with uh, 12 territories? Unfucking believable. K 
Okay, so Zarek, you got a troop for free. Well, that's not good. He's at 28 troops. Holy shit. Nobody's touched this man. It's time to touch Zarek. Yeah, we do lots of play with friends. We do play with friends almost every stream. <laughs> y'all, y'all looking for an OF link. You're going to be Sag indeed. Sagittarius. Um, I was just going to look with a chat. That's something we can add. Would that look okay? Or would that block the game? Okay, so Lena spent a lot of their turn thinking. Yeah, and then they take the territory I wanted to take. Fair enough. I Lena's probably the, the best player in this lobby. Okay, so it's incumbent upon Sterling to hit green. Let's see if he sees it. I don't want to be there. No, I think I kind of do. Okay, I'm happy with this. Sterling hits green, looks like. Thank you, Sterling. Thank you for playing correctly. <laughs> it's a very interesting intersubjectivity question, folks. So the, the, the idea that when is it, what is it correct to let other people have advantage? And when is it incorrect to let other people have advantage? So in the case of the 12 territories thing, um, I think it's almost always incorrect to let your opponents have a 12th territory. So the reinforcement rule for risk is you count the number of territories you control, divide by three, ground down. You can never get less than three. So three is the minimum. From, zero, from one to 11 territories, you get three troops. 12, 13, 14, you get four. So Zerki got a fourth troop last turn. And this is super marginal to people who aren't playing competitive risk. You're like, why do I really care about it? But that any sort of slight advantage does add up over time. Um, so if we are looking at this game in a competitive context, we have to ask the question... Right, how can we get every possible edge in one of those? One of those edges is not giving our opponents any advantage, any unnecessary advantage. So Sterling is next to me in the turn order. Zerky's already under 12. So if Chaotic doesn't put Sterling um, under, it's my job to hit a black territory. I don't love playing the first seed either. That really doesn't tickle the old Peepman. But I will. I'll try my best. Roll one of the Syracuse fours. <laughs> oh! Oh! <coughs> Dude, we got a lot of action in that noob corner. Which seat do I prefer in Prague? I like the, uh, I like being later in the turn order. In progressive. Card skip eight times, never. <laughs> We saw these. Uh, I was in a finals. Um, the finals. Fonty won. Fonty's first first championship um, where we played these settings and they almost stalemated because of card skipping. All right. Chaotic disaster. Do we see chaotic hit a black territory? Lots of thinking. Uh, 
Yep, we do. Okay, so now it's my job to hit a green territory. We can do that. All right. <clears throat> now chaotic is the only one on 12. Noob No More says, uh, I have changed my mind from Arco to Fonte, best play at the moment. Yeah, I mean, well, hey, if you're looking at, if you're just looking at the Saber system, they are very close. One of the good things about the Saber system, right? I'm trying to take the opinion out of the, out of the table, off the table. Um, but Fonte's second place finish, uh, or not, uh, Fonte's final, finalist finish in, um, in World Champs last season has him about 500 points ahead of Arco. So you would be in good company to, to make that call. Okay, so Zarek is at 12. Me being the first seat and being fairly low on troops is not terribly low. Sterling's lower. I should probably be focusing my lines on Sterling now. All right, Sterling lines look like this. One, two, that doesn't connect. I should go there. Three, four, five. How do we get there? So this territory needs to be buffed. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> and those lines look okay for Grim, except I don't have... My Grim Shanky lines are way shittier. Do I have an okay Zeraki line? Similar problem with Zeraki. Okay. Also we, also, we have to worry about who's going to kill us. Cool. This is fine. New camera? No, you know what it is, Sam? It's the 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 brightness of the sun is affecting the light. So I get this uh I have my I have my table here, my desk is a little shiny. So the sunlight is coming in off the window and it's it's popping up off the desk. So it's completely changing how the shot looks. Which I don't love, but it is what it is. Um okay, and beep. All right. That's better. That's better positioning. Natural lighting looks good on you. Thanks. Thank you. Great way to start my morning with a risk competition, folks. Why not card skip? Because I don't pretend that my opponents are terrible. Um, so if I card skip, it is then correct for everyone else to card skip. And then we card skip into infinity. In a public lobby where people don't know about card skipping, you can pretend that they're, they're terrible and you can call their bluff. In this context, there's no bluff to call because I know Sterling's going to skip if I skip, right? To do so is almost insulting, right? It, it presumes that he's dumb and he isn't good. Uh, so he doesn't know how to solve the skip. The, only, the, the solution to solve the skip is to skip too, but the problem with that is that risks stalemating the game, which is what we were talking about earlier, how I was in a finals where that almost happened. What is the strategy of car skipping? Sure. Uh, uh, Marcellus sees it the same way. He's like, it's disrespectful IMO. Yeah, well, you know, it's very slightly disrespectful, but yes. Um, I'll show you for, for, for you, for those of you who would like a refresher on the fundamentals of progressive world dom, progressive cards progress in a specific order 
in terms of the number of trades that gets traded in. I'm on the first seat, so I get the four trade. Uh, Black gets the six. Grim gets the eight. Zeraki gets the 10. Lena gets the 12. Chaotic gets the 15. Then it goes up by five. So I'm on the four and the 20 trade, assuming the sequence stays in order. Um, the base strategy for Wuldon Progressive is you want to kill your opponent such that you recoup most or all of the troops you spend killing them from their cards. When you kill a player, you take their cards. If you're holding five cards in turn, you set in turn. You also get an additional 30 seconds on the clock. Maybe you can make other kills. So it's like a very predatory uh, style of play. Pete Atlantis Hall of Fame tourney started after 90 minutes. Was restarted? Oh, no. You guys all agreed to restart? I said 12, not 12. <laughs> I, I mispronounce all sorts of stuff. Devilish crab, welcome. Wouldn't the first player benefit from having about five plus rounds that would reduce the percentage disadvantage of the position? Yeah, potentially, but at, at the risk of stalemating the game. So the question then becomes, what's your time worth, right? Are we, are we willing to uh, overcome a fundamental flaw in the game mode? And certainly is on 12. Okay, I have to hit him. Um... That's Sterling Territory? No, that's a better Sterling Territory. Yeah, that's better. We lose a troop, though. Okay. AP, hey what map pack do you recommend buying first? If it was for me, after you go premium, so premium comes with a set of maps, I'd pick this one. New World Views, I like. New World Views has Pangea um, and Earth 2209. This is my favorite, my favorite World on Prog map. Well, close second would be, um, uh, he didn't hit Grim. Okay, we'll let Grim have an extra troop. Close second would be Britannia Advanced. All right, so Grim Shanky now has 10 troops on me. We do have a set on three. All right, so who am I hunting? Probably Sterling. <laughs> then watch Sterling set on three. All right. How do we get our Sterling kill? We'd go through two Zeraki threes, which I don't like. Other than that, the kill's open. But I'm only going to get the 20 trade, so I still might not have enough troops. I don't, fuck, I don't, I hate the first position. Okay, Zerky gets a 10 trade. Now a four, I have to punch through. Yeah, I don't think I get the Sterling kill with uh, with the 20. I think I set on four. Okay, how does the Grim kill look? And I reposition the 10. Go this way. That's better. Yeah, I reposition the 10 here. Then at least that's the same problem for the for Sterling, though. Yeah, I'm not as well positioned for, for Grimm at all. Hmm. So Lena sets gets the 12. <laughs> I 
The one with Sigma. I've actually been de debating the one with Sigma and the other map. Oh, dude. Spaceport Sigma and um, the other one in that map pack is um, Command Base are the two biggest maps in the game. So if you like huge maps, I like big maps and I cannot lie. Uh, you want to grab those space maps. All right, Chaotic putting big stacks. I really only have Sterling Lines. And Sterling's on 12, so... Mm, yeah, I'm going to move away from this territory now. If people want to make kills, I don't want to force them through me. Unless they're killing me, in which case I'm fucked anyways. So that is our turn seven. And turn seven? Yeah, that is our turn seven. I think we survived to trade. But when we trade, we only get the 20. I think we do take the 20. Because otherwise we die. Um, so... What's this tournament scored? Uh, event info. Scoring. All right. So we get placement points. Winner gets three for winning game one, two for winning game two, one for winning game three. Okay. They tiered down. The placement points tiered down. Three, two, one, two, one, zero, one. So the first place in, in the third game is just a single point. And then bounty points. So. You know, one point per bounty. What am I on points one? Says I'm on zero points. That can't be true. I got seven points last week. All right. All right, all right, all right. Sterling takes the Canada territory. <laughs> Pseudo kill guard on Grimshanky. <laughs> so I'm so weak here. I have to set, but I'm taking a terrible trade to do it. Looks like my opponents are playing generally terribly because they're allowing other opponents of theirs to get the uh, the 12 territories. I really, really don't think that's a good move, but, uh, you know, I'm always open to being wrong. Why would there be points at all if it's just winner advances, though? What's the, what's the point? Of the points. I'm confused. <laughs> Look how weak I am compared to everybody. Zerky's down to 12. I've hit Sterling again. And hope he doesn't set. I still won't have enough to kill him, though. Even if he doesn't set, I think someone else just eats him. 
I'm not dead, but I'm not in a great place right now. Um, and I still think there was nothing I could have done. Yeah, that's good enough. I mean, I don't think I win this game. Um, I think by the time I get we get to my turn, there will be one or two opponents dead. That's my prediction. The only let's Grim Shanky, Shanky get uh, 12 territories again. I guess he doesn't care. We're, we no longer care about the margins. Okay. The, the way I see a win coming for me now is either I get very card lucky on three and make a profitable kill somehow, or I get fed a kill. I think I'm in a losing position if, if people play well. But we'll try. Always try. Shanky sets gets the 30. Yeah, we need a set on three. If any of these three, if Zeraki, Lena, or Chaotic miss. Yeah, Zeraki gets the 35. Killing Sterling. He is killing Lena. Thinking too long. <coughs> He's not killing Lena. Okay. Lena kills Chaotic. Lena's in a great spot to win then. Lena kills Chaotic. How are her chaotic lines? And he kills chaotic like this, uh, like this, like this, like this. Yeah, Lena has it. Lena kills chaotic. Okay. And as I said, I think Lena's the best player in this lobby, so there goes chaotic disaster. Yup, oh, Lena Kitty, good shit. Maybe not. Okay, this doesn't look like it anymore. Okay, yes it does. Yes it does, okay, Chaotic dies. Zeraki's surprised, like he didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh! Oh! Sh oh shit! Oh! Oh! Chaotic! Chaotic! Disaster! Stop hitting, Lena! Stop hitting! Why do you keep hitting? No! You're feeding it to Pete! Fuck yeah! Feed it to Pete! I'll take that shit! Woohoo! I will take the free kills, ladies! And gentlemen, no set, Chaotic! No set! No set! No set! No set! Come on! No set! Let's go! Oh, the 45. All right, too bad. <laughs> Lena. Oh, no, Lena Kitty. Oh, no. Oops, indeed. Oops, indeed. Dipsy. It happened. It happened. And Chaotic is reeling. All right. The spice, folks. The spice. I thought Lena had that for sure. Ah. Uh. Now Chaotix like, fuck, what do I do? <laughs> I, uh... Interestingly, because of the trades, they're not actually that fucked, right? They have more troops than me. After getting fully fail killed. Chaotic takes revenge on Lena. Hit Lena too hard, you feed it to Pete. Please do so. Set. Yes. <sighs> All right. We're on the 50. I semi guard the Lena kill. I'll go slightly negative for a kill Lena. I 
think it's worth doing. <sighs> Unless someone beats me to the punch, which I don't think they do. Does Zarek have it? No. There's no profitable move for Lena. She might not take a card. It might actually be her best play to not take a card. We take a card. Thank you. All right, I kill Lena. I kill Chaotic too. What's the what's the double Chaotic Lena kill look like? Um, hmm, that's harder possible am i a bad enough dude to pull that off it's too risky right i'd much rather just kill lena maybe line myself up for the chaotic kill next turn that's how we play it and then sterling grim or zarek can kill me if they had a lucky set on three that's how we play it we line ourselves up for the chaotic kill after killing lena and we're going to sit on four cards all right now we just need to count so 18 19 20 it needs to be 27, 28, so 6. Yeah. And lucky, lucky, lucky Peatman. <laughs> Sarah, he's like, kill this man! <laughs> Who's got a set on three boyos? Did you, Lena? I do not. I do not. Ooh! Ooh, we go to five cards. That's quite bad. The card luck ran out, folks. Now I'm just even. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm not ahead, right? All this work I've been doing is as keeping me neutral in the game. All right, it's time to focus in and calm down.
Is Eric is going for me? Just shrinking me. Right. Yeah, sensible play. This this kills me. This helps someone kill me. Yeah, sensible play. Okay, so Sterling sets. Sterling can kill me on four. Yeah. Yeah, I like the play. Sensible play. I've been fragile this whole fucking game. Okay. Kellogg is manualing Sterling. Why? Why is Kellogg pissed at Sterling? Take a card, Chaotic. Why are we... Yeah, there we go. All right, someone kills me on five. Sterling kills me, Grim kills me, Zerky kills me, maybe even Chaotic. I, I think the odds of me surviving now are, are zero. Yeah, good game indeed. I'm going to fuck up my kill and feed it to the next guy, maybe. Okay. Sterling's not going for me. Sterling's going for Chaotic Disaster. Yes. Cool. Now what happens? Okay, after Chaotic dies. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we didn't even need to hit that three, bro. <laughs> He's probably going to kill me after, right? I know any of us can die. I'm the best. I'm the best fish. If Sterling doesn't kill me, Grim does. And these look like peat lines. But he doesn't have the clock. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Oops, don't do it. Stop it, Sterling. You don't have the time. Stop it now. Stop it. No, don't do it. No. Stop it. You don't have the time. Stop it. You're feeding. You're feeding. You're feeding. You f Sterling. Sterling, no. <laughs> Feed. Fuck. Ah, he knew he didn't have the fucking time. Come on. Come on. All right, Graham kills Pete. Pete gets third. Or Pete gets fourth. Now that, that's a GG, folks. You bums. You're a bunch of bums. <laughs> Good work for Graham Shanky. He's going to advance. Graham kills everybody here. Good game. Pops that little Zeriki sideways poppy. Little pap and pap. Yeah, absolute feed. Zeriki and Sterling together. F completely fed it to him. Zeriki didn't even know I was going to miss a set. I think if he knew I was going to miss a set, he doesn't do that. I think the play was correct from a Pete's gonna set perspective. <sighs> but he didn't see this future. Where Grim Shaky kills everybody. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so we fucked up? Yeah, we fucked up too. All right, so now Zeriki has a chance. But it's not a big one. You laughing because he doesn't have cards? He does not have a chance. Well, sir, I get to play you next game, huh? Interesting.
And that's it for Zeraki. All right, I think on this board, now, drilling double trades. So that is a absolute GG. Yeah, the ratios aren't here. That that is that is game. Grim's gonna set and try though, or is he gonna yield? I think if I was him, I'd I'd fight until the bitter end. What's up, Black Flame? Good morning, Mr. Peach Brown. Hello, hello, hello. Sixty second timer is controversial for who? Who is controversial for mobile players? So this is an invitational, right? This is not a open tournament. So we don't have to be as inclusive to... I'm also not running this tournament. So when I say we, it's it's more general. But we don't have to be as inclusive in a in an invitational as we do in an, in an open. In my in my term, in the Kill Pete Open, I'm a lot more interested in making sure that we have mobile-friendly settings. This is the PRT invitational, so... This is where you get the best of the best. If you're not... If, if, if you understand that there's a PC versus mobile speed differential and you can't, won't, or don't play... In the with the best possible setup, that's on you as a competitor. Um, hey Pete, what game is this in Legends? I'm I'm in I'm I'm in Legends Four. Um, I'm pretty sure I advanced to Legends Four. Legends Legends Round Four is. Let me look. Conway Castle Zombies. Looking forward to that next week. This is uh, Invitational Week Two. Man, Sterling's super slow. Uh, yeah, Noob No, Noob no More. Um, I don't know if Noob No More won a, a tournament on a mobile. Uh, Cosmic did. Cosmic won a world title on his phone. Good game. Our first advance from the group is Sterling Fortune 27. Congrats, Sterling. Hope to see you next week, sir. And there you have it, folks. We go to game two. Ladies and gentlemen, for game two of the Invitational, playing in the same group, Zerki, Grim Shanky, Lena Kitty, Chaotic Disaster, and myself. Uh, Grim is now black. Um, Sterling Fortune advanced from game one. And we're playing Zombies 28 turns later in Fog with Blizz. Let's see the, the full settings. Show you just a moment. Just one live on Twitch. With 291 of my friends hanging out with me. Is really, do I play Catan? Yeah, but not well. <laughs> I have played. I am not good. Uh, I'll show you the settings first of all. We got play with friends, zombies, 28 turns later, auto 60, expert, no bots to start, progressive cards with fog and blizz, yes, no alliance, no portals, and I'm in the fifth of six positions. Uh, zombies in the first position, Lena Kitty playing as Magenta in the second seat. In the third seat, we now have Grim Shanky playing as Black. In the fourth seat, we have Chaotic Disaster playing as Purple. I am White. And Zeraki is playing as blue in the final position. Um, the zombies are going to go higgin higgin ham as they are wont to do. Where do I put my troops? 
my troops. So this game is going to be a lot of seeing in, in the fog. Trying to figure out where everyone is. So I think Lena with that fortify is now either here or here. Lena might be in the London Eye, which is a really good territory. So this territory, London Eye, kill guarded by Lambeth. Um, so whomever is in here has a perfect pocket. Maybe I kill guard Lena? That could be fun. Be also very dangerous. All right, uh, Grim turns out our lights in, in the left hand side. Yeah, actually, I don't hate that play. Chaotic makes a three. I don't know that I love that. Ah, what the fuck? Rolls a five V two. Huh. Okay. I wasn't really attached to that two anyways. But very interesting to know. Let's see if Lena put herself in the eye. I want to know this. No. No. All right, we have three sixes, two ancillary threes. We might lose one or both of the threes. Hope we don't lose a six. We lose both our threes. Hmm. Chaotic loses that corner. <laughs> Hit my two, will ya? Yes, this is a map of London. Exactly. Do I have 100% vision on Lena's positions? That would be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we're sitting with two sevens and a six. <clears throat> Three position play. Mm hmm. Mercy's always come up this way. If we don't, we know there's a stack here. Ah, okay. So someone is here. Uh, another way to see through the fog is to look at your card. So we have Old Witch, which has a plus two zombies, and St. James, which does not. One is St. James. Is a, okay, it's a blizzard. So see how the, uh, the cards sometimes have a plus two? This means a zombie occupies that territory. If it doesn't, it means a zombie doesn't. So it's either, in this case, a blizzard, but also could be one of your opponents. Um, and that's a very, very helpful trick to see through the fog when you're playing zombies. So we know that someone is here. Alina feels safe here. I'm curious to know who's there. Am I willing to hit a two to find out? It's not chaotic, because they would have fortified. Maybe they wouldn't have. Oh, hey, there's chaotic. Who do we think it is? It's Grimmer Zeriki, right? I don't think it's chaotic. Uh, let's find out. Let's just, let's just... Battle it. It's grim. And it's only a four stack. And the third card we get is Barbican has zombies on it. Left. Now we're seeing the two sevens and six again. So I was punished for rolling a two. Lena thinks a lot. Maybe that's why they're good. Spends a lot of time thinking. And tries to run from Pete. <laughs> Don't blame you.
All right. And we got one more turn of taking cards before the cards start to come in. Um, because it's a uh, five, essentially five player game, the sets do increase slower. So Lena is in the seat for the four and then the 12, and then the 15 rather than the 20. Um, I'm in the seat for the 10 and then 35. That's way better. Wait, no. Yeah, I think it is the 35. I like my position a lot. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so now I maintain perfect vision on Lena and I don't um I, I have no risk of uh of retaliation on this side. Maybe she has a fourth position. I, I'm I'm strongly, strongly doubtful of that. Saint Bartholomew's Hospital, where's that? Saint Bartholomew here. Okay, there's a player on that. That would be Zeriki or Grim, I think. No, there's Grim. Okay, so if Grim is here, here, why is he attacking so much? Oh, all right. He wants to unify the position. There's chaotic. No real wear for needed to go. Did he remove Lena? What is happening here? Crazy. And he's set to do it. Hmm. Yep, Lena sets. The six trade. My final card is on what territory? Another blizzard. Okay. We learn anything? Barbican, Old Witch, St. Bartholomew's Hospital. So someone is still here. A player. Lena got one, two, three, plus the six. So she'll be putting nine there. Turns into a 19. You, you can run. I know exactly how big you are. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Grim? Grim might only be in two places. And he loses three on a zombie four. Not ideal. So what we call suboptimal, folks. Um, I think I stay right here with that seven. That seven, like Lena can't really escape this position. She goes here, I'll see it, right? And then I'll be able to see if she goes either way. I think I stay right there with that seven. Chaotic sets gets the eight. Been hunting uh, one player all game, which kind of sucks for them, but uh, it's worked out. Right. Set. I'm going to put in zombie stacks. I don't know if that's correct, but we're, we'll figure it out. So one, two. Um, I think I'm okay to split a little bit evenly. 
Maybe have a little bit more here. But yeah. Cool. And wha-pa. Top. Oh, hey, Chaotic. All right, so there's Chaotic. Grimshanky might die, too. Set. No set. And Lloyd's of London. Zombie stack. Lloyd's of London is here. Top right. Where is there? I see zero Zeraki. <laughs> That's not good. I figure Zeraki's in the top left. He's still here. Where else do you think he is? St. Bartholomew's still occupied? Also, being later in the turn order here is really good because I'm able to get cheap cards off of my neighbors hitting zombie stacks. <sighs> okay, so we're going to see Lena. If we don't see Lena, we know she attacked here. Like process of elimination. There's no actual decision point for Lena. I don't know why she would take any amount of time. I would want to go through my clock very quickly. There isn't much of a debate to hit a zombie six or whatever is here. In horse guards parade. Or skip? Yeah, or skip. All right. Well, I know where you are. I know where you are. Oh, your cards just keep getting more valuable. So it was a 19, 20, 20, uh, not 20, 21, 20. It's a 22 stack. <coughs> 22 stack. Grim card, and we'll see Chaotic again. And we'll see Zeraki. Cool. And we found a Zeraki. Position. I'm very happy with my positioning now. And my ability at cheap cards. Okay, so we Fitzrovi is occupied by Chaotic. Everyone hang on the top left. Let's see if any of these guys know where Lena is. And go for it and feed me the kill for free. Maybe they go for it, find her. Set? No set. That is also suboptimal. All right. And do we see an attack? Yeah. Lena's confirmed in this territory, and she's skipping. It was 22. Now it's 25. This is fine. This is fine. Fine. 25 stack in. Buckingham Palace. Uh, Grim Shaky takes the 15 trade. Who's he smacking? Fight cards. Yeah. I just keep taking cheap Grim cards. Thank you, Grim, for giving me cards. You're a gentleman. Um... I sit on five, unfortunately. Okay, Chaotic takes the 20. Yeah, this is quite bad for me. People will think I'm weak. My best play is to put a troop in each of my three positions. Because not everybody knows where they are. Okay, the Lena kill is now worth it. As long as I survive. Yep, Zeraki takes the fifth card. And... <laughs> set killing a set. Gives me 28. 
Ha! That's funny. Well played. Well fucking played. I'm not emoting because I don't want to tell tell anybody anything about the situation. But that was an incredibly great two rounds of skipping to set on three. Make yourself not worth killing. All right. I assume Lena starts taking cards. I remove the kill guard. Set. I do have a set. Harley Street, Fitzrovia, Clark and Wool. All right. So we know we don't gain any new information from that. Set on three. I don't move this twenty-three because as soon as Lena moves, I and I see that right she's skipping yep okay so we know where lena is and we know lena's trying to skip to win i know exactly where she is and it will never be profitable for me to kill her because she will keep skipping I wonder if it'll trigger an infection at some point <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> Lena's accepting second no no she's playing to her outs right there's an option um there's an option to make a kill if if the sequences go right Lena knew for sure that I had her dead this is the only way she's not immediately dead to me <laughs> Johnny says all it takes for someone is to fail a kill and Lena can win. Right. Okay, Keanu takes the 40. What am I at? 72. So if I had guaranteed lines on someone, I could go for it.
We're losing a lot, though, with this motion. Hmm. Okay. Looks like Chaotic is going for somebody. Grim? Okay. Fails the kill on Grim. Mm-hmm. All right. Sick. GG Grim. All right, so is Zerky worth killing? Let's take a look. No trade, I kill him. Yes, trade, I kill Keonic. Set? Yes, set. Okay. Do you have a set, sir? I think if you did, you'd trade it. Nope. Derek, sets? Good. Now what happens? Mm -hmm. He hits the aid. He's like, I don't want you seeing me, Pete. <laughs> now he runs. Cool. Okay, that's better. I would love to know if someone's in the left-hand side. I should have probably rolled that to find out. Probably it's Zeraki, right? He looks weaker than Zeraki. That might be their only two positions. Okay, Lena's taking a card. Here we go. Hey, Lena. Hi. <laughs> cool. Lena going hunting for chaotic? <laughs> hmm. This is a great fucking zombies game, man. Which creates an additional position. Hmm. <laughs> well fucking played, sir. Well fucking played.
played. I love that. Yes. I love that for you, Zeriki. I love, oh, I absolutely love that. What an amazing, amazing read on that. Ha 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 ha. He's got 118 troops in the corner. <laughs> now he's moving. All right. He's trying to kill Chaotic. That's a good kill if he gets it. That's a good kill if he gets it. He's got to move through a lot of other stuff, though. He sees Lena. Kills Lena. No, he misses the kill on Lena now. Takes the pocket. No, he's moving. Okay. He kills. Maybe he kills Chaotic. He misses. He fits me. Chaotic. He had to go. All oh, he's coming back. Coming back for the kill. That'll set Zeraki. Yes. But by the time he gets to it. Kills Chaotic. Come on. Miss. Fuck yeah, miss. Yes. He's missing. Fuck yeah. Okay. No set, no set, no set, no set. Don't feed it to Lena. Does Lena know where Chaotic is, though? Ooh, this is great. This is fucking great. And Zeraki ran back to the corner. He's significantly weakened. I can sweep if I do it right. Even if, Cha even if Lena kills Chaotic, she doesn't set in turn. This is my game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, even if Lena kills Chaotic, it doesn't trigger a trade. So let's see what happens. Okay. How much motion do we see from Lena? Mm. Mm -hmm. Skips again? <laughs> Fuck your skip. Fuck your fucking skip. Fuck off. Fuck off with that shit. Yeah, run, Chaotic. Good. Good fucking game, folks. And Zerky's stack size is 42. I definitely give Lena the lowest pl placement for card skipping. And it's nothing against you, Lena. I, I absolutely love Lena's game. And I think she played to win, given the circumstances, okay? I do not um, I do not love the card skipping, but I gotta say, if I was Lena, I would solidly consider playing like that. Good game, guys. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Do we just have it right now? No, because our stacks aren't lined up properly. Do I have to win? <laughs> I don't think I have to win. We might actually just have it because we're in such a dominant position. Yeah, I think we just have it. That's crazy. Smell you later, zombos. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, advancing to round three of the IBT without having to play the fixed capitals game. I hope you all enjoyed this video. What an excellent, 
excellent zombies game. Let me pat myself on the back for fucking seeing through the fog a little bit. I'm not friends with these folks? Come on, I should be told. Oh, because I have too many friends. Right. Um, as always, best of luck to those who advance and best of luck to all of my competitors in their future competitions. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube, doing weeknight streams on Twitch. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, good luck.